Hello, good morning everyone. Thank you for listening and always supporting this channel. This is your teacher, Marifi Adonis, and our lesson for today is about exterior angles of a triangle, and this is for the first week of the fourth quarter. Okay, so before that, we are going to review angles. And when a sides of a polygon are extended, other angles are formed, like this, no? The original, the original angles are the interior angles. Okay. Yeah, this is the interior angles, or these are the interior angles, and the angles that form linear pairs with the interior angles are called exterior angles. Okay. So N is inside, as in X is mean. That means outside. Okay, exterior angle theorem, the an exterior angle of a triangle is equal in the measure to the sum of the measure of its two remote interior angles. So, so as you can see here, so we have the remote interior angles and this is the exterior angle. So again, no, so your interior angle theorem or your new best friend, the measure of an exterior angle in a triangle is the sum of the measures of two remote interior angles. Okay, so we have here, so for example, we have, okay, so we have angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four. So angle four here is the exterior angle, okay? And the remote, two remote uh, interior angles, the angle one and angle two. So therefore, if we are going to get the measure, measure angle one plus measure angle two is equals to measure angle four. All right. So in other words, we have here, if we are going to get the measure of angle one, so that is the measure of angle A, and plus the measure of angle B. Okay, for example, we have here a measure ang angle F. So this one, FHG, is equals to 180 minus 11. So 180 because these two are linear pair. So that is 69 degrees. That means this is 69, okay? Now, if you are going to get this uh, angle G, so we could say that um, 111, no? Minus 60, so minus this one, that's equals to 51 degrees. Now, how do you know that your answer is correct? So, if you are going to add 69, then 60, then 51, okay, so we have 0, okay, so we have thirty um, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 1, 13 plus 5, 18, so that's 180 degrees, so it is correct. Next, how about if you are going to get this example? So we have here, um, find the x and y. So what do you think is y? So we say that y is equal to the um, measure of its opposite remote angle. So y is equal to 82 plus 30. Okay, so we have 2 plus 0 is 2. 8 plus 3 is 11. So that's 1, 112. What do you think is the value of x? Or So x is equal to 180, okay, minus 112, right? So the total, 112. So we have 10 minus 2 is 8. Okay, this will become 7. 7 minus 1 is equal to uh, 6. All right, so 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have 68 
degrees. X is equal to 68 degrees. Next, let's continue. That's it. All right, good. Yeah, okay, so we get the correct answer. Next. So how about if we have this example? Okay. So 2x minus 5 is equals to Yeah, okay, x plus 70. x minus 5 is equals to 70. Why we use 2x minus x is equals to 70 right and then plus 5 okay why that's the answer is 75 we just transpose no okay <clears throat> a 5 so thus the measure of angle j k m is equals to okay 150 so 2 times 75 Minus 5 is 150 minus 5 is equals to 145. Okay, so that is correct. Solve for y in the diagram. Okay. So solve on your own before viewing. Okay, so how are you going to do that? So since it's remote, so that maybe you answered 4y plus 35 is equals to... 56 plus y. Let me see if we are. Okay, so we have here 5y plus 335, and then the opposite is 56 and y. So we get here, so 4y plus 35 is equal to 56 plus y. So by subtracting 4y and y, so that's why we got um, 3y. Then, um, 3y, 56 minus 35 is equal to 21. Then, divided by 3. Okay. So, cancel C3. Y is equal to 7. Because 21 divided by 3 is 7. Alright. So, we have here... Um, the next example, find the measure of angle 1 and the diagram below. Of course, we could say that 5x minus 10 is equal to 40 plus 3x. So, here is the solution. Okay, so we have 40 plus 3x is equal to 5x minus 10. Okay, then we can transpose that. We can say that that is... 40 and then 5 minus 2 uh, minus 3 equals 2 minus 10. So we got uh, 2x is equals to 50 divided by 2 equal, x equals 25. Right? So the measure of angle 1 is 5x minus 10. Therefore, 5 times 25 minus 10. So we got 125 minus 10 or measure angle 1 is equal to 115. Okay. Next. Complete the exercises below. So 1. Classify the triangle by its angle and its sides. And then uh, find the measure of the exterior angle shown. Okay. Let's see the solution. Okay, so classify the triangle by its angles on its sides. That means this is right scalene triangle. All right, so right scalene triangle. So if we are going to find the measure of the exterior angle, that is 3x. Okay, so x plus 70 is equal to 3x plus 10. So 3x minus x is 2x plus 10. So that means 70 minus 10 is equals to 2x divided by 2x is equals to 30. Okay, so 3 times 30 is equals to 40, uh, 90 plus 10, 100. So that means this is 100 degrees. 
Okay, now name the smallest angle and the largest angle of the following. Of course, by using it, so the largest angle here is, uh, or the, sm the largest angle is angle A. Okay, and then here is angle N and here the angle Y. Okay, so let's move again. I know that the shortest and the longest side of the following. So we have the shortest side is AC, and then here DF, and here GAI. And the shortest side, so we have AB, EF, and HLI. HI, okay, now so for our first uh, journal for the first. First quarter, so please write your opinion or reflection on this quotation. Every man of genius sees the world at a different angle from his fellows, and there is his tra tragedy. Okay, so whatever your opinion you get here, so what does it mean to so every man? All of us, it means it's a genius. Now, if we are going just to see the world and different with different perspectives and different angles, now uh, we can see that everything is positive and all creators of God are good, but it depends on how are you going to perceive on your own. Okay, so for your evaluation, find the measure of its angle, and uh, if you can post the video and try to answer it in your paper so we have this is a five point grade so for questions and clarifications please write your comments in the comment section and um i will no longer post some of the several uh because i know you are loved to watch my, my tutorial videos and uh, it's good, no? So please, uh, so follow back, follow me and uh, Facebook also if you uh, have time. Uh, this is your teacher Mari Fandoni saying good day. God bless everyone, especially to all my uh, teams, Organic Mercados, YDZ International, Team Solid Family, and for the woods, of course, my students, the Grade 8 Connection, Creativity, and Cooperation. Love you all, guys. Bye-bye.